you can't come and rule me you know i just said no i'm not gonna allow this you can't just come and start ruling me and start telling me what you want to do but even in our time our mom did not even never thought i'd be so far from home never thought i had to miss you and i hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing seven things i don't allow my toddler do or seven things i don't let my toddler do in case if you are new here yeah, i have a three years old daughter named priscilla she's almost going to four years so i don't want you guys to take this video as any negative way all i'm trying to do is just to share with you guys what we don't allow our toddler do if you guys allow your kids to do this thing it's perfectly fine it's perfectly okay by me we all have our own ways of training our children we have our own ways of bringing our children up i perfectly believe we all have our own journey with our children we are not the same what work for us might not work for you or what work for you guys may not work for us do what you know that works for you do what you know that works for your family i have decided to share this video because i always got a lot of compliments anytime we go out like people always ask us how did you bring her up like this to the extent that she's so calm she don't do this she don't do that and I I decided to share this video maybe it might also help one or two person or maybe you can see one or two things to pick from it to add also to your family or to just entertain you and know what we do here so without any further i do let's just go right straight into the video so the number one thing i don't allow my toddler do is nap like i don't allow a day pass by without her taking a nap because i think it's necessary for her to take a nap and besides it makes her healthy and look good at times when she don't take take a nap like this you don't want to see her that day like, i always think taking nap is very very important for her i don't allow her miss a day by without taking a nap we have a schedule for her like for her going to bed so i make sure she do take all the nap that she need all the sleep that she need to help her grow i just think it's necessary when she don't take a nap she don't allow me to do stuff that i want to do she always want to distract me and yeah and all stuff like that so always have a schedule for her to go to bed even if it's just one hour sleep in the daytime we just let her do it so i just think it's necessary for her to take a nap so another thing that i don't let her do is stay in a pyjama all day long i don't let her wear a pyjama all day i make her understand that pyjama is meant for sleeping and when you wake up you have to take your shower you have to pull it off you know brush your teeth and all stuff like that i make her understand like you don't you don't walk around with pyjama or go out with pyjama so this is what you will do so that is another thing that i don't let her do as well pyjama is meant for sleeping pyjama is not meant for running about i don't want her to just put on pyjama all day i want her to take her time because i always like her to take a bath very early you know dress for her and see what she look like that day and yeah another thing that i don't let her do as well is picking outfit for herself not that it's a bad idea picking outfit by herself because i used to do that a lot when she was two years you know just kind of ask her which outfit do you want to wear do you like this one or do you want to put on this one but i noticed it was getting too much so i had to stop it because there was a day when she did this thing like we were actually going to a birthday and i got her this cute stuff this cute outfit and she was like ah mama no i don't want to wear these jeans i want to put on this i want to put on these sneakers i was like well this is beautiful put on this and she said no she's not putting on jeans that she's going to put on one uh, shot like that she cried the extent throughout that day she was not looking nice or even to the extent that her dad was like please just pull off this outfit put on the one that she wants for her starting from that day i said no i'm going to stop this because i don't want you to choose outfit anymore i'm gonna be the one to choose outfit for you because i'm the one that give birth to you so when you grow up or when you are like 15 16 or even from 14 years you can choose outfit by yourself but now stop stop i'm going to stop it you are not going to be choosing outfit for yourself anymore i'm not gonna allow this you can't just come and start ruling me and start telling me what you want to do no even in our time our mom did not even let us do this me, i'm giving you the opportunity to do this and you are misusing it she really really got me annoyed that day like can you imagine i bought cute outfit for her and she was like no i don't want to put on jeans so that was why i stopped her ever since that day i'm the one choosing outfit for her you are not going to be the one choosing for me neither the other way around i will be the one choosing for you i just don't let her choose outfit she's going to wear so another thing that i don't let her do as well is yelling 
or shouting i don't let her do that i don't allow her yell or shout she have the right to yell or she have the right to shout but when you are shouting or yelling it has to be for important reason you don't just go ahead and start yelling or in the name of you want to yell or shout so i especially when we go to library or when we go to um shopping supermarket i let her understand that in this place you don't shout you don't yell you have to be calm you know so if you are going to shout or going to yell it's going to be for important reason so yeah you don't just go ahead and start you know yelling or shouting so i don't let her do that as well so another thing i don't let her do as well is watching tv this might be the part that you are not going to agree with me i want you to see my reason why i'm going to explain not that i don't let her watch tv but if she must watch tv it has to be permitted from me or permitted from her dad because there are some certain things going around youtube because most especially she like going to youtube i don't just want her to expose with the things that is just going around now so if she must watch youtube she has to take permission from me or permission from her dad she might just be watching something youtube might just nest it to another another episode that she don't want to watch that is not meant for her so i don't want her to expose by that if she must watch youtube there are a movie that i normally put on for her time out with monica or bible adventure and this other type i will try to link them on the description box this is the only thing i let her watch on youtube i don't just let her go to youtube like that or just go to youtube and start watching things that are not you know don't let her touch my phone if she must do that it has to be permitted from me or it has to be permitted from her dad so that's another thing that i don't let her do so yeah that is what that so another thing i don't let her do as well is jumping on the furniture or jumping on the bed i don't let her do that because she tried to do that when she was two years or i think before two years and trust me she got injured like she break one of one of her front teeth like uh, the mark is still there so ever since i don't let her jump on the furniture or jump on the bed apart from that we might went to visit someone and the next thing for her to start jumping on the on the furniture and then they will say that i don't take care of her very well or see how she lost home training so i don't let her do that at all not at all i don't let her jump on the furniture or neither jump on the bed i make her understand that furniture is made for sitting down you don't jump on it bed is meant for sleeping not for jumping not for doing bossing or all stuff like that so i just let her understand all those things and like that she's going to understand she's going to get that into her score and know that this is not meant for this and this is meant for this and this is meant for this and you don't do that you don't do this. so another thing i don't let her do as well is taking things from someone without saying thank you yeah i don't let her do that you know there are some time when our uncles or our auntie give her something i said say thank you it's very important when you collect things you have to say thank you and not just saying thank you you have to look into their eyes like look into their eyes and say thank you it's very very important not taking things from anyone without saying thank you she's such an intelligent girl when you say her something like this she grab it so fast Those like children are so intelligent like if you don't teach them they don't know but immediately you teach them like this they get it they will never never forget it that they will put it in their head so that is it that is the seven things i don't allow my toddler do i hope you guys agree with me but if you don't agree with me that is fine like i said don't take it for anything i just share my own opinion like we all have our own way of bringing up our kid and all stuff like that thank you so much for watching this video if you are new here thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to hit that subscribe button it's actually free it's not going to cost you anything subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you get notified anytime i upload a new video and for my returning subscriber thank you guys so much like you guys have been so amazing for sharing my video for your love you guys have shown me so much love in this period what is not enough for me to say thank you to all of you thank you guys so much i'll be seeing you guys in my next one stay blessed and stay safe bye